the rear hook, we have already focused on the lead hook. There's a lot of differences in this particular move. This is a close range technique. So what's happening again is I'm sinking with my center, okay, hands up, and then I'm moving from my center and I'm rotating and I'm bringing it over and then I'm bringing my hip right back, okay? Now, the wrist position, the fist position, you gotta keep it straight, okay? When you start to turn, that's on these long hooks, you start to turn it over, okay? So this is a close range weapon. There's also power leaks we've talked about when your arm is slightly off of an L position. So again, sinking, over, and coming back. Now this is a close range weapon, okay? Now your fist position can be either to the side or vertical. Whatever preference, there's no right or wrong way. So as I'm sinking and turning again, okay, relax. And the retrieval is just as important. Okay? This is a great counter if you're jabbing. Rolling with, okay? Rolling with right there, okay? And I'm keeping, and it's that sink and that power, and I snap and I come right back. That is the thing about this that is so important. Is when I lower and turn, I'm snapping. Snap, come right back. This is the big problem when we talk about other moves, is that retract this way. So I'm doing kind of an over-exaggeration of how far I rotate. But that is the rear hook. The application of the rear hook. Again, this is a close range technique. So this to me, I mean, look at our distance here. So we're at like jabbing distance here. We're at like cross distance here. I don't know why you're trying to punch me. That's not very nice. So as we're here, I really need something to happen for me to close this distance. So if he's jabbing, okay, say he jabs, okay, this is the position, okay? Again, I want to keep this a close range technique. He jabs, boom, okay? Sorry about that, I almost clipped you. Over here, jab, okay? This is great for lazy jabs. Like you're jabbing, okay? And you're bringing it back slow, okay? Oh, we're even better. Bringing it down and looping. That's exactly it. This is the things you should be watching for. Side note, this is why it's important when you're doing a proper jab to have your shoulder up. Absolutely because you can do it at the same time. Also, this technique can be okay after I initiate a jab, step in, come over. Again, I keep my arm as an L, this helps with my positioning. This is extremely important for the street when we start punching without gloves because your hand gets damaged so easy to keep that wrist straight.